Dang. When I first became a developer three years ago, I had no idea that I'd even become a developer. Three and a half years ago, I decided to learn code. I went on to teamtreehouse.com and got my first developer job as a junior web developer in three months. At that time, I barely knew HTML and CSS. I knew no JavaScript of any framework or library whatsoever, and I got hired. That story I shared on Core.com and went viral. People couldn't believe it. I even shared that story on YouTube as well, and people still couldn't believe it. What I really do want to talk about um, is, yeah, I just got a new job. <laughs> I literally just got the job offer yesterday. And what's even more crazy is that two years after getting my first developer job, I was able to get another job. They almost doubled my salary. And what's even more crazy, I never applied to another job. I was not interested in looking at another job. I love where I work. It is one of the best companies I've ever worked for. Even though I didn't apply to anything, who would have known that on LinkedIn, the team leader, who was a software engineer at Amazon, actually reached out to me for a possible position in Amazon. That is crazy. That's insane. Why would anyone want to even reach out to me? But the fact that I even got reached out on Amazon, for me at least, that alone is insane. Because you have to remember guys, and I say this over and over again, but I'm gonna say it again since it's been a month since I uploaded a video. I barely graduated high school. I am a college dropout. I went to two colleges and I couldn't even past the semester. School wasn't for me. I was in special ed. I was born six months premature and I wasn't even supposed to survive and the only reason I survived when I was born was because the one doctor that specialized on the surgery I needed the day I was born was in that hospital to take care of me. I shouldn't be here. Going through high school and failing all my classes, no one would have ever guessed, even I myself would have never guessed that I could even be or reach where I am right now. It's insane. <laughs> it's insane. Yeah, that's what this video is about. Amazon reached out to me. <laughs> Dang, man. <laughs> oh, that's just crazy. All right, let me get straight to the point, guys. So this person reached out to me on LinkedIn. Please know that this person that reached out to me doesn't even have a profile picture. And so I wasn't sure if it was legit. So what happened is that they asked for my resume. I didn't have a resume, at least an updated resume, because again, I'm not looking for another job. And so I quickly filled it up, sent it to him, scheduled a call for the next day. We had a conversation. Um, this person called me and they pretty much just asked me some questions about what I do. And he asked me to pretty much uh, tell him about myself. I pretty much told him uh, I'm self-taught. College wasn't for me. I, I told him that I taught myself code three and a half years ago. I shouldn't be where I am today. It's all luck. And I just had the opportunities come up and I was fortunate enough to be able to recognize that I need to take advantage of these opportunities. And then during our conversation, I shared with this person, I shared with this person pretty much what I do outside of work. He asked me, okay, Chris, like you love code. And he wanted me to kind of prove how much I do love code. And if it, am I genuine about it or if I, or if I only do it for the money. And so I'm like, all right, I need to tell him. I shared with him, I shared with him as I was learning code, there were many times I wanted to give up. And because I remember how many times I wanted to give up, I remember looking through YouTube everywhere that there was no one that could encourage me to keep going. And so I made a YouTube channel not to make money, but I made it hoping to encourage people and to motivate them and to let them know that even though you don't have a degree, even though you weren't the smartest person in college, that you can do it. And I told them that I do mentor a few people. I'm actually mentoring someone from Australia right now. I'm willing to meet with him even though it's 1 a.m. in the morning for me and it's 6 p.m. for him in the day or etc. I'm willing to do it because I know there are people who need help and no one, there was no one to help me at that time. And so I told him about that. And it's kind of cool. He said he actually appreciates me doing that. And he said uh, it's pretty cool that I do that. that. He likes that a lot. So after that phone call, he scheduled me to have another phone interview with an actual recruiter because he wasn't a recruiter he's just looking for developers to fill up those spots he asked me a couple of questions too about where i'm at if i'm willing to relocate all these different things which is kind of cool and and please note during this entire process i'm freaking excited man like i can't believe that this is actually happening right so yeah i pretty much passed both of the screening interviews on the phone and then they scheduled me for a actual the online technical interview which will actually happen next week and th this is really exciting to be honest uh, and please note it's not like i'm interested in taking 
a job. I just can't believe this happened. For me, even though I 100% know or believe that there's a really good chance I won't get the offer, it's just fine. The only reason that I'm willing to go through this is because of the experience for myself. It's not like I'm willing to relocate or I'm, I'm willing to leave. I am being mentored by a senior developer at Amazon. He's a level six developer. And the position I'm interviewing for is a level five front end engineer. And he told me that that's for like someone who's like a master JavaScript developer, but that's not me. I'm not a master at JavaScript. I don't even work with JavaScript as much as I wish I could at work. I do a lot of things in PHP and Twig, SAS, um, a lot of logic and doing things in PHP, working with, you know, MySQL and database. I'm learning those things and queries and everything, but I don't work with JavaScript as much anymore. And because of that, my JavaScript skills, honestly, I could say kind of went down the hill and which is why I'm actually trying to really do that outside of work now and learn on my own. I don't qualify for that level, but the reason I'm willing to do this is number one, the opportunity. Secondly, the experience, even though I'm pretty sure I will bomb the test, I'll still do everything I can to prepare and pass it. Um, but even more than that, to be in my position where I'm able to film my life, where I'm able to share my videos, my views, my experience with literally tens of thousands of people all around the world, I wanna be able to show this to you guys, that even though I am someone who was never meant to be where I am today, I have opportunities popping up here and there. I mean, even Walmart just reached out to me, but I don't wanna work for Walmart. <laughs> It's insane, man. When I think about where I am now, again, I shouldn't be here, but I am because honestly, I have no idea how I got here. I hear about my friends and my family struggling and I'm doing my best to support my family. You know, I'm going through difficult situations right now. There are things that have happened in my life within the last month, which is why I haven't been uploading as much. Um, but despite all of that, it's insane to know where I am now. So yeah, I'm, I'm interviewing with Amazon and my, my boss knows about it. Let him know I'm gonna upload a video and you know, um, uh, they know about this video. So people might be wondering, Chris, aren't you worried? No, I told my boss I'm just doing this interview and I'm gonna post, you know, my experience on, on YouTube. And that's really the main goal is to share my experience with you guys and let you know that if I can do it, you can do it too. But dang, like, I, I just can't believe this. This is insane. That's insane. It, it, and and to end this on an interesting note, I shared this opportunity I have with many of my friends. They didn't really care because they don't know how big of a deal this is. When they think of Amazon, they think of the shipping department. I'm not going for the shipping department, but when I shared this opportunity with a lot of developers, no, they couldn't believe it. And they're like, what? You know, a lot of my friends have CS degrees, uh, <laughs> you know, and they never been reached out from Amazon directly like that. And it's not that I'm better than them. Again, it's just, I got lucky, that's all. But I wanna let you know that this can be you as well. So yeah, anyways, man, I just, I'm being interviewed by Amazon. This is insane. And so I'm um, studying JavaScript all day and all night preparing for this. I, I just, I, I can't wait. But anyway, if you wanna actually see the interview process, when I do have my technical interview, please note that I will be filming that and with that person's permission as well. I'll be sharing with you on my upcoming videos next week about what test they gave me, what code did they have me solve, what CSS HTML problems they'll have me solve, and I'll share that with you guys here on YouTube as well. So that's pretty cool. And if you wanna see more of my day-to-day -day journey with that process, make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'll put the link in the description below. And I share my story on there almost every single day. So thank you guys. This is Krishan, this is Life with Developer, and I'm out. Peace.